4. We have new information about a vacant house fire over in Fountain Square that injured five firefighters. Investigators now believe someone intentionally set the fire on Indy's Near East Side. Now people in the area would like to see it demolished. That is our top story first at 4. Thanks for joining us here. I'm Beer Shaladme. And I'm Lindsay Eaton. Daniel is off today. Fox 59's Jesse Wells takes us to the scene with an update on this investigation. Fortunately, the five firefighters injured when the second floor collapsed have all been released from the hospital and will be okay. But neighbors say this home has been a dangerous nuisance for months. A charred porch with the inside burnt wall to wall is what's left of a vacant home on Fletcher Avenue. Yeah, it's not very safe at this point. So, yeah, it, it should definitely be torn down. Neighbors like Suzanne Richter hope the scorched shell of the home is demolished. After this happened Monday night, flames shooting high above the roof as the first fire crews arrived. It was a pretty big fire. The heat was very intense. Suzanne says the neighboring home had actually been vacant since May when the last renters moved out, leaving a neighborhood eyesore behind. I mean, the windows were busted out, the front door was busted out. Um, it's it's pretty been a pretty big issue on the street. Then in early July, police reports show the upper floor of the home caught fire just six weeks before it went up in flames a second time Monday night. More than likely it's been vacant for some time and that we've got people going in and out of that house that should not be there. While the case remains under investigation and no suspects have been identified, fire crews insist whoever set the fire put a lot of people in jeopardy because five firefighters inside the home fell 10 feet from the second floor to the first, landing on top of each other and narrowly escaping major injury. You know, anytime a, you know you have an intentionally set fire, there are so many layers that happen here and so many people that are affected. This could have been so much worse. Arson is a crime of opportunity, and that's plain and simple. It is a crime. One of the neighboring homes did suffer damage to the siding, but the people who live inside say they are okay. In the meantime, anyone with information on the actual fire is still asked to contact Crime Stoppers. Jesse Wells, Fox 59 News. Law enforcement agencies from these